Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> My teacher is very. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, people. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How was your day? My day was is very good. And your day? Ah, um, it was good too. Busy, but it was good. <laughs> And I just noticed that I'm, I still have problems with my camera. So I just connected from another laptop. And I am going, I need, I need one moment to do something. <laughs> okay, so. No problem, it's okay, Give me some seconds. And in a moment, I'm going to start taking the pen. Okay, so just give me one moment. Remember that tomorrow we Good have class. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, guys. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Okay. So let's start. Alba Luz Mende. Present, present teacher. Alba, Alexandra Patricia Arevalo. Present teacher. Alma Ived Aguirre Pérez. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz Martínez Amaya de López. Ana Beatriz. Ana Yamile. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanca Benavides. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanca Mireya Gandame. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Carlos Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Rivera. Cecibel Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Cecibel. Celia Verónica Pleite. Claudia Beatriz Madrid. Present, teacher. teacher. Yeah. Teacher Blanca Mireya Galdame, presente. 
Okay, thank you, Blanca. Um, we continue with Cristina Claribel Chavarri. Delmi Alexandra Ramos. Esma Azalia Marina. Present teacher. Irma. Edwin Hercules. Here I am, teacher. Yeah. Efraín Emilio. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Good afternoon. Good night, <laughs> perdón. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Fátima Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Fátima. Fátima Noemí Rivera. Fátima is not here. Hilda Pineda. Hilda? Ever Bojorquez. Hello, I am here. Good. Héctor Velado. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Irving Villeda. Hi, what is that? Hello. Isaura Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Saura. Jacqueline Guevara. Present teacher. Thanks. Jacqueline Jaime Palacios. Oh, I think he's sick, right? He said he wasn't going to go. Uh, Stephanie Rinalde Mejia. Present. Thank you, Stephanie. Jamilet um, uh, Gerardina. Present teacher. Thank you, Jamilet. Okay. So that was the attendance. Good. Oh, I have two messages. Let's see. Ana Yamilet. Okay. Ana Yamilet Hernandez. Okay. Thank you, well, guys, let me uh, share with you the presentation for this evening's class. This is the lesson number five. Can you imagine? So we already finished the first week and now we are in the lesson number five. And I'm going to share the presentation with you and you will see it in a moment. Mm -hmm. The topic for this class is prepositions of time. I'm sure you already know about this topic because you have worked in that section already. So um, we have two objectives. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. And by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. So we're going to learn that in this class. Very important. So we have these activities. We call it previous knowledge, prepositions of time, time expression, and wrap up. Yes, in the recalling previous knowledge, I have some questions that I would like you to answer, okay? Please type your answers in the chat. This evening, we are gonna use the chat, okay? So we're gonna use the chat in this moment, and this is the first question. What do you do every day? Teachers. Yes? Okay, gracias. Okay. Let's start, people. Let's type in the chat. Let's type in the chat and answer the question. What do you do every day? Tell me, I want to know. What do you do every day? For example, I take a shower every day. Oh, okay. Caleb says that he does reports to his boss. 
Also, in my case, I feed my cat every day <laughs> because if not, it is like meowing. <laughs> Uh, Isaura says that she studies English. Ana Beatriz prepares breakfast for the family. Okay, I always prepare breakfast for my husband too. <laughs> and lunch. Okay, prepare the breakfast for my family. What else? Tell me, tell me. I want to know what is something you do every day? Every day. Um, Exercise with your cousin? Nice. I I take my cat out. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Oh, Edma says that she goes to the park. Oh, we can listen to, <laughs> to the cat. Okay, somebody, Eva says he takes me to breakfast. Anna, I do my shorts. My household chores. I take care of my child. I give language classes. Okay, you are a teacher. Do it. Okay, what else? You are a Spanish teacher. I prepare breakfast. Okay, I want to know more. Tell me all the things. Okay, nice. I think I wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Very early. <laughs> Take care of my babies and I work. Okay, nice. Let's go over the second question. The second question, okay? And type your answers in the chat. Second question is What do you always do in the morning? So this is more specific. What do you always do in the morning? A specific thing you do in the morning. For example, in the morning, I always say goodbye to my husband when he goes to the work. And now I take a shower <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> what do you always do? And I always drink coffee in the morning. Okay, Alexandra, I do breakfast for my grandma. Blanca, I brush my teeth. Yes, it's important to do it. Oh, Caleb says, I kiss my wife. Oh, that's so sweet, Caleb. <laughs> that's nice. Evan, I always go to my gym. So you keep in good shape. Anna, I wake up at five o'clock and pray. Oh, that's important too. Don't forget, guys. Prepare breakfast, always drink water. Mm. Good habit, drink water as soon as you wake up. It's good for your kidneys, for los riñones, kidneys. Take a shower, feed my baby. Okay, you feed your baby. You, how, Blanca, Blanca Guadalupe, how old is your baby? He's so, um, five years. Five years old. Okay, yes. take my son to school. Hey, nice, very nice. They practice sport. What sport do you practice, Edwin Alexander? I practice soccer, teacher. In the morning? Yes. Nice. Okay, now let's go over the next question. Is... Oh, the computer is kind of slow. What do you usually do in the afternoon? What do you usually do in the afternoon? Okay, we have in the morning, but now in the afternoon. Well, I usually have a drink, a cup of coffee, another cup of coffee. <laughs> and I usually take a nap. Uh, for me, that's very important to take a nap after after lunch, if it's possible, I do it. Do you take naps? Ever says that he usually drinks five cups of coffee, five cups of coffee a day. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. You can you can't live without coffee, Ever. 
Okay, Edwin, I usually play video games. <laughs> Alexander, I eat minutas. <laughs> I got to pick up my children at the school. I always play with my children. Other ideas? I usually... I oh, I talk to my friend. I talk to my friend. Okay. Go to school for my son. Drink coffee. Talk to my coworkers. Okay, nice. Next question. The next question is, what do you never do in the evening? What do you never do in the evening? Oh, Blanca in the afternoon? I usually watch my favorite series, okay? But what do you never, never do in the evening? Let's see, let's wait for answers. Well, I never eat fish in the evening. I or a shower. You never take a shower? <laughs> okay. Oh, Alexandra says that she never eats meat. Blanca, I never sleep early. <laughs> okay, try to use complete sentences, okay? Delvi, I never, I don't eat fish for dinner. I sleep my son, sleeping my son, I don't understand that so much. Maybe if you make a complete answer, complete sentence, I never eat, you never drink milk in the evening. Drink, okay? You never eat soups, like Guadalupe. <laughs> okay, anyway. I never eat meat in the evening. Interesting. I never watch TV at night because you're in class, Stephanie. <laughs> well, I never watch the news. I never watch the news. But I sometimes watch a series with my husband early, when we have dinner early. You never drink coffee, you never sleep early. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, thank you for sharing. It was good to know you a little bit more. It was a good practice. So let's go over the next activity. Okay, we have the time expressions. We have three prepositions of time, okay? Three prepositions of time, which are the most important, at, in, on. I'm oh, sorry, at, in, and on. And we have more here, more, ex more time expression. Uh, but for example, I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. So we use at, for time, in is used when we want to say uh, the time of the day, morning, afternoon, or evening. And we use on for days, specific days. So in this case, I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. I lead work or I finish work early in the afternoon on Thursday. I go to bed around, around 11. Around 11 is como, ahí como por las 11. I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknights. Weeknights from Monday to Friday. I get home late at night on weekends. Weekends, weekends are, what days? What days are weekend? Weekends. Which days? In the semana. Saturday and Saturday. Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, exactly. I stay up until midnight on Friday. 
I stay up until midnight on Friday. You know, until, what does until mean? Hasta. Hasta, okay. Me quedo despierto o me desvelo. <laughs> I stay up until midnight on Friday. I exercise before noon on Saturdays. And before, what does it mean? Antes. Antes, okay. Before is antes. I exercise before noon on Saturdays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. That's interesting. I wake up after noon on Sunday. Después del mediodía on Sundays. Well, I can. What is until? Until hasta. Hasta. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I stay up until midnight on Friday. Yes, me quedo despierto hasta la medianoche los viernes. Why? Because you go dancing. <laughs> Just kidding. So, and expressing clock time. When we express clock time, we say, uh, we can say seven o'clock in punto or clock. Or also you can say sharp. Seven sharp. Or seven o'clock. Seven a.m. Seven in the morning. Seven p.m. Seven in the evening. Okay. So right now we are in which period? Morning, afternoon, or evening? Right now, in this moment, in twenty. Evening. 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 So right now it's the evening. Okay. So we have in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. That's why when we enter the class, we say, ¿Cómo decimos cuando entramos a la clase para saludar? To say hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Why not good night? I want to debate. Ah, because you say good night to say like goodbye, see you tomorrow, right? You are going to bed. You are not going to see the person until the next day. That's why when we start the class, we say good evening. But when we finish the class or when we leave the class, we can say good night. Okay? Yes? A la entrada de la clase? We say good evening. Good evening. When we finish, good evening. When we finish good evening. Good night. 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 So now over here we have some sentences. Sorry. And we have to choose the correct preposition of time. So please tell me what is the, the preposition? The correct preposition. And number one, okay. I get up. At, I get up until six. I get up at six. At, at six. At, at or on? On weekdays. On weekdays. On weekdays. Okay. I have lunch at or early, 11 30. At uh, at, at, at eleven thirty, I have lunch on at eleven thirty on Mondays. On Mondays. On Mondays. Oh, y lo decimos en plural cuando es general. On Mondays, on Tuesdays. For example, we don't have English class on Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, number three, I have a snack in ten or around. 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 And, um, or at night. 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 In the night. At night. At night. At night. At night. At night. Fridays. On Fridays, I leave school early. Early. And what does early. early mean? Early. What does early mean? This temprano. 
temprano, temprano. I leave school early. Number five, Before. I stay up. Before or until 1 a.m.? Before. Until. 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 Until 1 a.m. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Okay, number six. I sleep around. I sleep around. No. Around. Until. 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 On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, number seven. I have I dinner know. at. I have at dinner at. At, 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 at Weekend night. Weekend I want to say go to sleep. I 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 go to and one, I am one uh, Number 10. On Thursday. Thursday. I live I for one. I live for one. I live for one. Okay, number 11. I work. I work late. I work late on, on, on weekends. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Well. I study around until we can use around. I study until around um, until eleven until, until around 11. after dinner. I study around. I study around I study around eleven after eleven after dinner after dinner. Good job. Good job, people. Okay, let's go over a conversation in which you're going to practice this. Okay? Uh, I start work at five. In this conversation, it's between Kevin and Ali, and then it says, please pay attention to their pronunciation. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. Oh, that's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm caring. <laughs> okay, so they are talking about the time they go to work, right? So you're going to practice the conversation uh, with a partner, okay? So let me see, I'm gonna create a group and you're going to practice the conversation. So, Okay, go ahead. I will, let's see, take a picture of the presentation.
Teacher, yo creo que quedé sola en un grupo, por eso me salí. Ok, Blanca, I will, uh -huh, I will try to send you to another person. La voy a mandar con Blanca. Ok, teacher. No, con Evelyn. Evelyn, Janet. Esta es Blanca Mía. Sí. Uh -huh. Y algunos que quedaron de tren.
Very nice. Good job. So um, now I would like a couple of the students to to practice or to say the presentation. I mean the conversation in front of the class. Present in front of the class. Do we have a couple of volunteers? Emma, if you want. Me, okay. Teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Me, teacher. I read. Yeah. You and Anna. Okay. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at at ten. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. At five. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant, but the way I'm kidding. Great job. Thank you, Emma and Anna. Okay, so we have some questions here. We have just no questions and WH questions. Just no questions, for example. Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Can you tell me what's the structure of just no question? Do. Okay, I'm sure you do. Such as? Yes. A, a bird. A uh, bear. Compliment. Compliment. No, bear. And complement. And complement. Okay. Then we have a just, uh, sorry, an information question as we learned in the previous classes. What time do you work? When do you get home at night? What do you do exactly? Okay. Nice. Good. So now, like, I'm going to explain when we use in when we use on and when we use at. So these are the three most important prepositions of time. In, we teacher, use in. Teacher, I, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Uh, uh, Anna, right? What is the difference if I use when just uh, the auxiliary too or does ah okay we use that when it's the third person singular he she or it no eh, what is the difference cuando bueno, cuando yo uso solo el do y el does y no uso el wh y a pesar de eso estoy haciendo como una eh, Oración simple, una, una pregunta simple, perdón. De presente simple. Solo que no uso el de pregunta, el WH. O sea, ambas son de pregunta, pero, pero no, no, no sé si me entienden. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ok, let, for example. Does Maria do her homework early? Like this? We are using uh, the auxiliary does and the main verb do. Uh, no, este sí, o sea, es una pregunta, verdad? Siempre con el simple, el presente simple. Pero cuando yo ya agrego eh, la wh, ¿qué hace de diferencia si ambas son preguntas? Wh, the the answer is information. You are asking for information. For example, oh. um, what do you do in the morning? 
¿Qué haces en la mañana? The, the answer is information. I have English class in the morning. But uh, when we have questions we do or does, it's a yes, no question. The answer is yes or no. Does Maria do her homework early? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. So that is the difference. Ok, o sea, es yes, para sir. dar una respuesta más corta y si uso el WH, ya sería más larga la respuesta o con... Information, you're asking for information. And with do or does, the answer is yes or no. Yes, no, uh, uh -huh. Solo son preguntas de sí o no. Do or does. WH questions information you are you need more information you cannot answer yes for example what time do you go to bed yes mm -hmm. no right that's not the answer just oh i go to bed at 11 p.m mm -hmm. okay so you are asking for information huh? thank you teacher you're welcome Anna. Tomorrow we are going to review uh, this, okay? The just no questions we do and that, but tomorrow, tomorrow's class, we are going to review do and that. Today, we are going to uh, learn about prepositions of time because you need this information, but tomorrow is like a review um, and practice of the previous de los contenidos que hemos visto, ¿ok? Y ese que no lo hemos visto mucho, lo vamos a ver mañana. Oh, sorry. Ok, so we are here in the three prepositions, in, on, at. In is more general, more general. So we use it for months, Years, seasons, and periods or times of the day. For example, we say in June, in January, in March. For example, we have vacation in April. Okay. I was born in 1993. Uh, it rains in the winter. Uh, The weather is nice in the spring. The weather is hot in the summer. The, the trees uh, or the leaves of the trees fall in the fall. <laughs> okay, fall down in the fall. I work in the morning. Uh, I study in the afternoon. I prepare dinner in the evening. I, um, I don't know, I worked in a call center in the past and I'm going to travel to Spain in the future, okay, for example. On is more specific than in. We use it for days or days and time. On Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Saturday, on Tuesday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Tuesday evening, on Tuesday night. And at is very, very, very specific. We use it for a specific time or hours. At noon, at noon yesterday, at noon tomorrow, at night, at two o'clock, at 8 p.m., at midnight, at present, at the same time. At the same time means al mismo tiempo, o al tiempo que, al mismo tiempo, at the same time. At the weekend, at Christmas or Easter. General, specific, or specific. 
And you can illustrate it, or we can illustrate it in the next slide. You can see it in a pyramid. Okay, in, on, at. Okay, at is on the top because it's very, very specific. So in is used uh, for weeks, months, years, decades, and centuries. Into weeks, in July, in May, in December, years, in 1970. In 1989, in the 80s, in the 1800s, on for days, on Friday, on my birthday, on May 7th, 1954. So when we have a specific date, una fecha específica, we use on. And for hours, we use at, at 5 p.m., at 12 o'clock, at 7 a.m. We have some exceptions here. We have in five minutes, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Okay, so keep this in mind. Me mm hizo -hmm. decir que todo eso está en el en la en la plataforma para repasarlo. No, but I can send a picture to you if you need it, or I yeah. can send you slides. Yeah. Uh, tal vez este lo manda el grupo. Yes, it will. Okay. Miss, este, y on, in y on significan lo mismo. En, Toda, en todas estas expresiones significan lo mismo, solo que se usan en diferentes situaciones. Como ya vimos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Todas sí, significan porque... alas o en. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, a las 5, a las 12, a las 7, el viernes, en mi cumpleaños, el 7 de mayo de 1964, en dos semanas, en julio, en 1970, en los 80, en la mañana, en la tarde. Sí, es cierto. Va a depender de la circunstancia, ¿verdad? Del contexto, sí. Thank you, Mimi. Les voy a enviar esto también. Okay. Good. Very good. And I have more information. <laughs> okay. We are going to practice because we need to practice. Um, I will ask you some questions and you have to answer in the chat, okay? For example, what time do you wake up on weekdays? But please go answer with complete uh, sentences. What time do you wake up on weekdays? Remember, subject verb complement. I wake up at 5.30 a.m. On, on weekday. I'm using two prepositions, at and on. I want to read, I want to know what time do you, do you wake up? Hila Beatriz, she wakes up at 7 a.m. on weekends. On weekends, but on weekdays, weekdays are Monday to Friday. Alma Yvette, I wake up at 5 o'clock on weekdays. Teacher, sorry teacher. It's okay my answer or oh. Is weekday or weekend? Weekdays. Weekdays. Yes, from Monday uh, to Friday. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yes, teacher. 
Okay, Hilda. <laughs> Thank you. Time. You're welcome. I wake up at five o'clock on weekdays. Well, the majority of you wake up at five. I. Who wakes up at nine a.m.? Uh, um, Blanca, I wake up at six a.m., but I get up at seven thirty or eight a.m. <laughs> Very sincere, Blanca. Thank you <laughs> for your sincerity. Okay, this question is the next question is When were you born? Esta pregunta significa Okay, when were you born? When were you born? I, Entonces, I vamos was a usar... born. Exactly. La respuesta sería, I was born. I was born. I was born on February. On February. 17, 1993, okay? If you say only the year, if you use in, si solo usa el año, only the year, in. I was born, I was born in February. Ah, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay, the month. But the year, I said the year, right? I was born in 1993. Okay, Alexandra, don't forget to you was. I was born on January 21st, 2002. I was born in October. I was born, Emilio, you forgot the preposition. I was born in 2000. <laughs> so you're 23. <laughs> I was born on July 28th, 2003. I was born on November 13th. I was born in 1999. I was born on February 16th, 1985. Really, Ever? You were born on February 16th? I was born on February 17th. <laughs> I was born on May 29th, 1986. Okay. Tell me, and Anna, don't forget, I was born. I was born on. Okay, I was born on. I was born on October 12, 1993. <laughs> okay, interesting. Very good. Um, okay, next question. When do you have your next vacation? When do you have your next vacation? I have. Exactly. I have my next vacation in April. In April. I will go to the work in San Vicente because I don't have vacation. Emilio, okay, but try to use the preposition in April. In April. Okay, another question. When is when is Mother's Day in El Salvador? When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Um on May 10th. Okay. And remember, when we um, write months, we use months and days of the week, months of the year, and days of the week are written in capital letters, con letra mayúscula, on May 10th. 
Exhale, exactly. Or inhale. Okay. Oh. Carlos, I have my next vacation in December. <laughs> okay, when is when is Independence Day? When is Independence Day? In El Salvador. In El Salvador, yes. In our country. Independence Day is in September 15th. On September 15th. On, ah. on September 15th. On, yes. yes. This is on September 15th. When is Independence Day in the United States? In the US? On April 4th. No. 4th. Or July. Ah, July, July. It's in July. On July 4th. Okay? Solo. Entonces, si solo digo el mes, in July. Si digo el mes y la fecha, on July 4th. Or on the 4th of July. Another question, what is, or when do you have? No, let me think another one. What is your day off? ¿Cuál es tu día libre? What is your day off? Weekend. On weekend? Weekend, on weekend, okay, my day off. My days off are on weekend. Ana, yes, please, I don't have. Blanca, it's on Monday. It's on Sunday. Interesting. Excellent. I love your answer, guy. Okay, let me ask you another question. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? You can tell me. I go to bed after the class. <laughs> that would be I nice. I go to bed at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. I go to bed around 11 because I have another class after this one from 9 to 10. And then I have to, to upload the videos on YouTube channel. So it takes some time. At 11 p.m. at 9:30 p.m. Excellent. You are using app. Ever. I go to bed at 10. At 10. Okay. And when do you have dinner? When do you have dinner? Do you have dinner before the class or after the class? After the class. After the class. Really? After the class, después de la clase. Wow. <laughs> that surprises me. I, I, I have, have been there before. Um, okay, you have been there before the class. I have been there after the class. After the class. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, guys, it's almost time to finish. So I would like to know your ideas. If you can tell me uh, what did you learn in this class? Well, tomorrow I'm going, I will also send you this. Um, well, tomorrow I hope we have time to uh, study the time expression. Okay. But it's actually where we studied a little bit. So tell me, what did you learn today? Can you give me one example? What did you like and what do you need to try? Today I learned about the preposition of, of time. And okay. it is used in very general. For example, when I say only a uh, month or, uh, or year, 
Uh, I can say in October, for example. And the preposition on is more specific than in. And I can say, for example, uh, on, on Tuesday, on Tuesday in the Tuesday morning, or Tuesday afternoon, etc. And preposition up is very, very specific. Just uh, you, you explain that. And for example, when I say the, mm, I remember when I say the, the, the direction or the address, mm -hmm. I can use, I can use the, the preposition at, it is it's correct, teacher. Yes, but those, but that is not preposition. Yeah, at, but not preposition ah. sign. It's preposition. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Sí. Yes. Study propositions of time. Okay. Ah, okay. So yes, yes, yes. And I have to go to my other class, but it was a pleasure to see you guys. I hope you can okay. continue to practice. You can find more exercises on the internet. And well, remember that we have class tomorrow. Okay. So see you tomorrow and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. 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 Good